So today I'm speaking with Dr. Lucinda Woodward. She is Assistant Professor of Psychological Sciences at Ball State University. She recently concluded a six-month stint counseling former child soldiers in West Africa. Thank you for joining me, Professor Woodward. You're most welcome. It's my pleasure. Great. Let's get started. Is what propelled you to do um, this work in West Africa? Well, I, I had connections with, with West Africa because I have done some pilot work in West Africa assessing post-traumatic stress disorder in Liberian war refugees, along with one of my former graduate students, Matthew Decker. Uh, we discovered during that work in 2005 that the rates of post-traumatic stress disorder were incredibly high among the war refugees. Most of them are still living in Ghana, which is where the refugee camp was located that we worked with. There are about 30,000 people there, and currently there is no service available to them to provide them with psychological counseling for what they have seen and experienced as refugees. And so what sorts of um, developmental impediments did you see as a result of, you know, years of war and, and violence and death? Well, amongst all of the refugees, there's an incredible lack of trust. Obviously, interpersonal relationships suffered as a consequence, and that was one of the things we were hoping to address in our psychotherapy. We were working specifically with an interpersonal group paradigm to build trust among some of these war refugees who had been victimized. In addition to running a group therapy for war victims, we were also working with the perpetrators of these war crimes. And we were working specifically with a group of former child soldiers from Liberia who voluntarily began participation in a psychotherapy treatment program, trying to deal with some of the issues of what they had faced as, as victims and perpetrators. For them, there is a, a terrible stigma right now. They are persecuted. They are shunned, and they are pariahs within their own society, and yet they also are victims. So the goal of our research and our uh, treatment was to address the needs of both of these populations and start building the bridge for healing in Liberia. What is the necessary amount of time for treatment? Like how long does one need to be treated to get over um, these types of psychological disorders? That's a wonderful question. And the answer is twofold. Um, one is it takes as long as it takes. <laughs> and in good therapy, that's really how we, we treat a person is relative to the responsiveness. Unfortunately, when you're dealing with a refugee population, you have the handicaps of a lack of funds and resources. There aren't trained personnel to deal with this. There's very little time in which to address these people's issues. So I had to develop a very intensive program that included some cognitive behavioral features, uh, some new techniques from what we call acceptance and commitment therapy, as well as interpersonal intervention, particularly for the child soldiers whose, whose cases of post-traumatic stress disorder were chronic. They had witnessed horrific acts of mutilation, of killing, of cannibalism, and many had been forced to participate in that. And yet we were finding amazing results in 10 weeks combining these two. Men and women who thought they would never return to Liberia because they were overwhelmed by guilt and they feared retribution, were willing to return and wanted to contribute to the rebuilding of their society. They were willing to, to conquer their fears. So we really saw some amazing results. 